As mentioned in my last video, when I used the Beatles Clear Powder to build an apex, today I'm going to show you which colors I chose from this Beatles 6 color kit and how I applied it over the apex build. Let's get started. This Beatles Blue Gray Dip Kit did come with a set of liquids, but since I was already using the liquids from the mini kit, I decided to continue with those instead of using these larger bottles. Initially, I chose three colors, which are Z136, Z137, and Z138. As I do with all powders, especially the new ones, I'm going to remove the seal from each jar, stir the powders before dipping. I am using the metal cuticle pusher that was included in this set, but you can use any wooden cuticle stick or any other tool of your choice. So to prevent mixing colors or contaminating my dip, I am wiping off the cuticle stick after I stir each color. I also decided to add color Z133 into the mix. I zoomed in to show you how I apply the base because remember, I have clear powder on my nails already since I built an apex. So that means I will apply more base liquid this time because of course it's gonna dry faster since I'm applying it on top of the clear powder. Now, if I was just applying it to my natural nail, then my base liquid application would be much thinner. Now there's no real method to this color application. I am testing out these colors to see the pigment, as well as the quality of the powders. So I chose four colors, which naturally I would have to use one of them twice. I added a little twist to one finger, so keep watching and I will explain it in a moment. Now I've dipped all nails into each color twice for two layers, except for my ring finger. Instead of leaving that as a solid color, I decided to add a little glitter to it, sort of like an ombre look. Now I am applying extra liquid to this because I know it will take me a little longer to apply the powder to this finger this time around. I'm using the cuticle pusher first because I want a thicker, fuller look towards the free edge of my nail, which is also why I'm angling my finger up 
so that as I apply the glitter, it tends to fall down and it'll be thicker towards the edge. Now, once I'm done with that, I'm gonna follow it up with an eyeshadow brush to give it that sprinkle effect. You'll also see me dip into the glitter because I wanna make sure that my free edge is covered as well. Now once I'm done with that, I will just tap off as much of the glitter as I can back into the jar. Then I'm going to use this sponge to clean all the remaining powder off of my brush so that it'll be ready for the next use. Now let me say I am not a fan of blue by any shade of blue. At least I didn't think I was. But this is the final look of this set. I didn't think I was gonna keep it on that long, but surprisingly, I kept it on for two weeks and it actually surprised me, really and truly. Now I did make a rookie mistake and I did not apply clear powder over the glitter parts. So when I was filing, some of the glitter came off. Learn from my mistake because I definitely know better than this. But anytime you do glitter or a design, always apply clear powder over it to protect it during the filing process. Now, as I said, I was not a fan of blue, but I really like the darker blue color as well as the glitter. So I reapplied it a couple weeks later after I changed my nail shape. And this is how it looked two weeks later because I kept that set on for two weeks as well. Overall, I was very pleased with this colors kit. The colors are very pretty. I didn't experience any chipping or cracking or any other issues. And if you can't tell by my repeat of colors, I will definitely be using this kit again. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thanks for watching.